Welcome to our tutorial on creating histograms using R and ggplot. Today, we're addressing a question from one of our viewers who is trying to visualize descriptive variables from a row column table. They want to know how to effectively plot these variables in a histogram format. Our viewer's question revolves around a specific procedure for plotting descriptive variables from a CSV file. They attempted to reshape their data into a tall format but encountered some challenges along the way. Let's dive into the details of their approach and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, we first need to reshape our data. Let's start by loading the necessary libraries and reading the CSV file. Next, we will transpose the data to convert it into a tall format, which is suitable for ggplot. This is done using the transpose function. After transposing, we will melt the data to convert it into a long format. This allows us to specify the variables we want to plot. Now that we have our data in the correct format, we can create the histogram. We will use ggplot to plot the values for each variable. Finally, if you want to include whiskers for the average, min, and max values, you can adjust the ggplot code accordingly to visualize these statistics. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, ensure you use the correct column names without quotes in the AES function. Also, check that your dataset's header is properly formatted. Here's a sample code to reshape your data and create a stacked bar plot. First, bind your data and set the column names. Then use the melt function to reshape it. You can create a stacked bar plot using ggplot with the geom bar function. This will visualize your data effectively. For multiple bars, use the position dodge argument in geom bar. This separates the bars for better comparison. You can also separate the plots by variables using facet wrap. This allows for a clearer view of each variable's data. Lastly, Here's an additional graph using the data table package to include error bars in your visualization. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, first ensure your data is properly organized. The initial issue arises from incorrectly transposing your data. Instead, transpose your data, rename the columns, and add a new column for variable names.
Here's a sample code snippet to help you get started. After reading your data, transpose it, rename the columns, and melt it for plotting. It's important to note that organizing your data correctly is crucial for ggplot. Consider simplifying your data processing by calculating summaries directly in R or using a more compatible format from external programs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, start by loading the data.table library. First, read and transpose your data using the decast and melt functions. This helps reshape your data for plotting. Then use ggplot to create the histogram, specifying your variables, and adding error bars. Make sure to specify the namespace for melt and decast to avoid conflicts with other packages. This ensures you use the correct functions from data.table. Lastly, Ensure your CSV file is formatted correctly. Remove any unwanted characters to avoid errors when reading the file with Freed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, start with your original data. First, filter the data for minimum and maximum values and then for average and absolute values. Merge these data sets to prepare for plotting. Next, use the decast function to reshape the data and merge the data sets to include all necessary values. This will give you a clean data set ready for visualization. Finally, utilize ggplot2 to create the histogram. Set the aesthetics for the x and y axes, fill by variable, and add error bars for the min and max values. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create histograms from a row column table in R using ggplot, start by loading the necessary libraries and reading your data from a CSV file. Then transpose the data and convert it into a data frame, ensuring to set the correct column names. Next, melt the data frame to reshape it for ggplot. This involves identifying the variables you want to plot. After that, separate the data into minimum, maximum, average, and absolute values. Finally, use ggplot to create the histogram. Set the aesthetics for the x and y axes, fill the bars based on the variable, and add error bars for the minimum and maximum values. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.